question. This is where we start to see the distinctive regional uh, identities starting to crop up that we find uh, in distinctive pottery styles, uh, probably uh, which reflected religious beliefs. Um, Deford, uh, Swift Creek, a lot of Swift Creek up in this area. Pottery, uh, Swift uh, Creek pottery uh, has the very intricate designs. A lot of farmers along here have picked up shirts of uh, Swift Creek uh, in their collections. The, um, the first people that were here hunting, the megafauna, if you think they were hunting with bows and arrows, they weren't. They were using the atlatl, which if you want to come and play with one after, after this bit, the throwing stick, uh, I'm sure all the anthropology students here have probably played with atlatls. But the bow and arrow came later, uh, came probably, I guess, toward the end of the archaic. But the atlatl enables you to throw with greater force and distance. So they could use this against the megafauna and so on. Most of, well, nearly all the wood of atlatls, of course, decompose. So what archaeologists find, of course, is the projectile points. And this little thing here, which is sometimes called an atlatl trigger, which could be out of bone or antler or stone, uh, that kind of thing. And it took a lot of wear and tear, so something durable. So they find atlatl triggers. I don't know of any atlatl triggers that have been found on the Wiklacuchi, but a great many, of course, of the early uh, Clovis-like Simpson points are along the 